today, MTD CNC are at Mills CNC in Leamington Spa. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to catch up with the uh, latest updates from the machine tool world, as well as cutting tools and other technologies. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about advanced technologies. In fact, shortly, I'm going to be catching up with Tony Dale, who's the technical director here at Mills CNC, and he's going to be telling us about uh, Doosan's um, capabilities when it comes to advanced technologies and some of the machines in the range. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to tell you about one of those models, which is the MX1600 machine, which is behind me. Now, this is the MX1600 735. Uh, the 735 denotes the bed length on the machine. But rather than go into too much detail about the specs, the sizes, what I'd rather touch on is the actual capability of the machine and where Mills CNC are aiming this. Now, they have sold these machines already into the UK market. And in fact, uh, they're, they're very popular amongst uh, manufacturers of complicated components, for example, the medical sector and so forth. Now, why is that? Well, I think as you'll see uh, from the machine behind me, it's a, it's a very small footprint machine. In fact, it's just over three and a half meters in length. Now it's a it's a mill turn machine. The particular model that we have here behind me just has a single spindle, uh, a B-axis head, uh, it has a servo driven tailstock. Uh, but the other options with this uh, range of machines is that you can also have a turret at the bottom of the machine which can have either eight stations or 16 stations. And when you um, couple that with the 40 station ATC in the back of the machine means you've got an abundance of tools to be able to manufacture complicated components. Now, all of that uh, is housed, as I said, in a very small area. Historically, uh, mill turn machines have been or have tended to be on the bigger side, and often when manufacturers invest in them, they can be an overkill for the size of component they're machining. But they are or were the only option open to them at the time. Well, now that's changed because this MX1600 is a very compact machine, as I said already, just over three and a half meters in length. It has a full Y axis on the machine and with that 40 station ATC you can manufacture uh, highly complicated high value components. It's a fast machine, uh, it's a linear rail machine, it also has the FANUC control on this particular model but is available with the Siemens as well. Now the beauty of being able to offer this machine with either an 8 or a 16 station turret not only means that you can uh, maybe do uh, things like balance turning but you can also use um, the turret to support components, maybe have a, a steady on the turret which will enable you to machine longer term parts as well. Now full five axis machining, can you do it on this machine? Well actually yes you can. The actual model behind me is uh, capable of full five axis simultaneous machining but that doesn't have to be the case. You can spec this machine um, to the application that you are actually looking to machine. So therefore, if you don't need full five axis simultaneous machining, you don't necessarily have to invest at that level. And going back to the 40 station ATC, the actual uh, tooling on this machine is Capto C5, as you'll see that in the spindle nose. Now, what about a little bit more about Doosan? Well, would you believe last year Doosan manufactured more machine tools than any other manufacturer around the world? There's almost 400 machines within their range currently. Earlier, I caught up with Tony Dale, who talked to me a little bit more in detail about some of their advanced technologies. Tony, good to be back at Mills CNC today. We're hearing a lot uh, recently about advanced technologies from you. Could you elaborate on what that term means? Well, advanced technologies we consider as five-axis simultaneous, multitasking machines, uh, machines with B-axis nodding heads, etc. Automation, um, linear pallet systems. So, all of these products are within the Doosan range. And what sort of models would they be? Well, certainly we've got the uh, MX here. So there's a range of MX machines, starting from a six-inch chucker, SMX multitasking, um, horizontal machining centres, borers automation and you as a business you need the infrastructure behind it to support engineers with this what do mills cnc offer yeah well we have a full team of pre-sales project engineers that work on the projects up front uh, for customers that are looking at full turnkeys and then obviously we have a team of application engineers then post sale which actually then set the automation up the multitasking machine up uh, ready for delivery to the customer and i think as evidence of your skill sets you've recently become a tier one member to the amrc as well can you tell us about that yeah, we joined the AMRC maybe 12 months ago now, so we're a T1 board member of the AMRC. We're, we are tech fellows, and um, it's a good relationship. We both learn from each other, and I also like using and calling on the skills of our engineers as well. 
And how important is advanced technologies these days for, for the UK manufacturing market, do you believe? Well, I certainly say the UK market has been the marketplace for innovation and for technology. And this is where UK manufacturing is going to grow in the future. It's the aerospace part sectors of the market. So this is where we need to be.